Good day and welcome. Matthew here again. We are at Willow Springs N200 class. We have a one make race in the Honda Civics. And these were a brilliant, fun car to drive. Immediately I had a, a better start off the grid start, which I love, uh, to the back of Noble, but he covers me off through the first corner. He takes it over to the left. I was like, okay, he's going to give me the inside line for this long corner. There's not something you want to do. He does kind of come across to me, so I do give him a tap. But then he pinches me to the inside. I get on the dirt, and that probably secured the fifth place for Noble. For the meantime, I thought I almost had him through that second corner. I know how difficult it is to pass around here with these cars. The slipstream strength was on real and not weak. Often the N N200, N300 class have weak slipstream, which means it's actually better performing slipstream, and you can pull up behind somebody quite handily but in this combo they set it to real which meant that you really had to battle to get every position so it was a lot of fun and the car had some character to it you know so the more you drove it the more you figured things out about it and you could do different things with it and take different lines it was it was a really cool combo I really enjoyed it but as you saw, Schnick made a bit of an error through the the twisty, I guess it's, it's not really infield because it's on the outside of the track, but I call it the infield section. The twisty section, sector two. Noble got round him. I tried following Noble, tucked into his draft. I couldn't quite get past Schnick. He had the inside line for the long right-hander. And so he retains the position. Noble moves up one. I look to dive on Schnick into this corner. Very tricky to do. He goes a little bit wide, a little bit sideways. And I go to try to take advantage of that. I can't do so. I saw Art Lane, who's just behind me, get through that first corner a lot faster than I did. So I had to cover him off going into here. So I, as you saw, I quickly moved to the right of Schnick. Not to attack Schnick, but to cover my own position from Art uh, Lane behind me. So after recovering, or staying sixth, I can now then regather my thoughts and reconcentrate on picking up Schnick's toe and getting past him and as far up the field as possible. I wasn't sure where I'd come, but I knew if, if we could stay within the draft of the leaders, who were Makosi in the yellow car and Holland in the white car behind them, then you know we might have a race-long battle. Unfortunately, the race was only seven laps, so by the time that tyre we were starting to eke into it the race was over it was only 11 minutes in total so a bit of a shame I reckon this could have gone for a lot longer and would have been an absolute blast so lap 4 and we'd caught back up to Schnick in the pack wasn't too much of an ask it was only a few tenths back and the draft is fairly effective but I'm looking to gain an opportunity to pass him and overtaking moves around here often the setup is halfway around the track especially in, in this category of car where it's a light on power you need a long time to build up the speed and, and get in a position to overtake so the better run through that left right combination back there put me in a nice slipstream opportunity against Schnick if I could get a good run through the last corner I could attack him onto the straight and down to turn one and that's exactly what happens he runs a little bit wide I hit the apex nicely, I'm already on the power, full power from before the apex of that corner, it gave me good exit speed, and this time I was attacking Schnick into turn one, I did this a few laps ago as you saw, this time I'm a lot closer and pretty much up beside him, I dive down into the apex, pull it up in time, Schnick, there's no grip out to the right so it's pretty difficult to defend around the outside when a car's that far down your inside, Noble and Ranger go off I look to the inside, but Ranger covers it. He's got dirty tyres. I thought he'd understeer wide. Schnick is going around the outside. I get a little bit compromised. Schnick has a good run, so I move over to the left before he got up beside me to prevent him from actually attacking me back and maybe presenting an opportunity for myself to get past Ranger or Noble. I get a tap from Schnick. It's all very close and snugly at this point with all these cars, all the slow cars into these corners. So minor bumps and bangs, not a big deal. They're not going to upset or affect the cars in any which way or any meaningful way. So, overtook Schnick in turn one, retained that position with my move 
out wide to prevent him from getting another run on me and then potentially attacking me into turn three and now I'm looking at Ranger Oz or Noble so Noble's made up another position on Ranger so he went from fifth to fourth to third now and myself finally moved up from sixth into fifth and once again like I did on Schnick looking for an opportunity through this last corner to get a good run and attack Ranger down to the first corner he goes a bit wide got a little bit excited I'm in his draft I'm gaining on him but he's also in Noble's draft so the effect is kind of neutralized somewhat you can still see me visibly gaining on him but it's not going to be enough to push for a pass through here so any opportunity you see he's a little bit wobbly through that corner maybe he's going to go wide not this time I look to the inside this is a good opportunity to overtake I wasn't quite far enough up the inside and if I pushed that issue I would have just pushed Ranger wide so that's not the way I'm going to go and overtake somebody so Ranger holds onto this position for now I'm going to go look to the left hand side down to turn three I'm falling back a bit so he had a better run than I did I'm not going to try the attack on this corner maybe the next right hander you can undercut somebody here he does cover it off he had been most of the race so nicely done Ranger that's a really good opportunity to overtake is to just slip up the inside of somebody through that right hander now it's about getting a good line through here and getting on the power as soon as possible without under steering like you saw Ranger do so I now have a good run or potentially a good run out of that corner and down the straight and I knew from practice and from what I'd been observing I was faster than Ranger out of that right hander mostly because I was holding on to my gear change a lot longer than he was but I get a good run down here if he doesn't defend the inside you can go down the inside look for the 150 board brake hard he can't turn in because my car's there and I can claim the apex and there's not a lot he can do about it aside from slip backwards I saw him on the radar in the race and where his car was positioned to the left of me and I knew I could then accelerate take the apex and move on and move up to fourth position so I was pretty happy with that two places and two laps had taken five laps to get there but the racing was brilliant it was, it was close it was tense you had to position your car well and as soon as you're sort of off the line or just provided enough of a gap that gap was going to be filled by somebody else's Honda so you really had to cover your bases and because it was such tight racing and such close racing you couldn't afford to give anybody an inch because they were going to take it take a mile basically so that was the race Holland brought it home ahead of McCosey followed by Noble and myself and it was a, a really fun race I love this combo I love these cars the the Civic it's just such an interesting car to drive there's so many nuances and things you could learn about it and as you gained more and more experience you got better with the car and you could do more tricks with it so one I guess for as an example at about six like below six thousand revs the car bogs down the engines just the engine doesn't produce the power below six thousand rpm so you can use that to your advantage as you as soon as you hit over six thousand or six thousand five hundred or thereabouts you hear the engine note change and the car gets more power and you feel it understeer all of a sudden so if you hold the car in a high gear to deliberately keep the car just below 6000 rpm then you can have your foot down on the accelerator and still have quite good turning capabilities as soon as that as opposed to say using a lower gear and having more revs you produce more power or the engine's producing more power or, or whatever and it understeers more so gear selection at different corners sure you can accelerate faster in a lower gear or do, do you need to accelerate faster in lower gear or do you need to have the cornering ability of the higher gear potentially it's quite interesting and, and you sort of use it at, use its advantages and disadvantages at different corners so it made it quite quite a lot of fun to drive it wasn't overly technical or difficult but the car was nuanced and interesting and Willow Spring suited it it, it made for some great racing and everybody in this race actually drove really cleanly it was really close racing there are a few taps and things but nothing at all it was a lot of fun 
And I know like the Nations Cup races, I think this was one of the lowest scoring rounds for Oceania, which indicates that a lot of the faster guys weren't turning up for it. But And the N200s, N300s, they get less drivers turning up for these events. But they're an absolute blast. They can be an absolute blast. You're missing out. If you're watching this and you weren't here, you're missing out. Anyway, I was pretty happy with my result. Getting from 6th to 4th past some cars it's, it's pretty tough especially when everybody's in a, in a train like this you get in a slipstream battle and they are slipstreaming the guy ahead of them who's slipstreaming the guy ahead of them so you end up just sort of going nowhere you really have to work to gain any meaningful any meaningful advantage to get ahead of the driver ahead so it's quite tough and quite tricky but a lot of fun when you do it especially when you can move up a couple of places in a race and only, only seven laps long. Need to be twice as long. Need to be three times as long. You know, it could have been a half hour race. I could have done this for, not for days, but a lot longer anyway. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this was the first race of the night. I actually won the second race of the night, surprisingly enough. On the first lap, I think Ranger Oz and Mikosi, who started ahead of me, they kind of got compromised. Well, Ranger Oz got compromised to a corner, so I overtook him, and then Mikosi kind of opened the door and let me through I don't know he took a wide line through the last corner and I just went past him and then I just stayed in first from there so I got a win out of this event it's actually I think two wins and two Willow Springs events for me N300 last time in a KTM and now an N200 in the Civic brilliant love it love it anyway thank you all for watching hope you did enjoy what you saw today if you did give us the like and the thumbs up it's the same thing or hit the subscribe button, share with your friends and family. If you want to see these races live, come follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Until next time, thank you and bye-bye.